Who was Earl Williams? Once a local miner at the Monongah Mine, Earl was transformed by his carnal desires. In April 2075, Hornwright Industrial bought the rights to the mine and introduced auto miners. At first, this was great for the struggling town. However, 10 months later, the mine was depleted. Before Hornwright Industrial could up and leave onto the next mine, Earl Williams and others drunkenly decided to get some payback. They would sneak into the mine and steal some supplies. However, mining supervisor Deke Sykes caught wind and blew up the entrance to the mine, trapping Earl and company inside. Sykes tried to convince Earl's daughter Maggie that he and the others just skipped town. She didn't believe him, and unable to move the caved in rock alone, Maggie could only hope her father was still alive somehow. And Earl was still alive, but as there was no food in the mine, he and others had to make a difficult survival decision. One of the miners, James, had been killed in the cave-in. While others refused outright, Earl and those desperate to live settled on cannibalism. 26 years later, Maggie's hopes would pay off when the fault dweller came to foundation. She asked them to find her father at the mine and suggest using a nuke to open the entrance. However, by the time the vault dweller gets to the mine, Earl was now transformed into the grotesque Wendigo Colossus.